notification gang shout out on today's video is raid so big shout out to you you're the real mvp on today's video if you want to be the real mvp and win notification gang shout out on the next video be sure to subscribe like turn on notifications and tell me you and Nodi gang down below in the comments section and i know this video is 13 minutes long but if you could watch the whole video that would be very appreciated this took me a long time to make and i put a ton of effort into this video so that'll be very appreciated but let's hit that intro ka Yo, man, what's good, everybody? It's Will, the real deal. Curls, man, whatever you want to call me, and I'm back on the video on the USK Gaming channel. Now, today, I will be doing the evolution and history of the PPSH in Call of Duty. This weapon has been included in seven major Call of Duties one way or another. I will not be mentioning United Defense and Finest Hour in this video. I will mention United Defense, but I will not mention it as its own game. But I will basically be talking about the PPSH in every single Call of Duty game and how it has improved in the stats and all kinds of different things about the weapon in the game. If you would like to see more evolution videos on the channel, be sure to comment that down below and tell me what you want to see an evolution video on next. Anyway, let's get right into the video. The PPSH was first brought to Call of Duty in the first ever Call of Duty on the PC. In the single player campaign, the PPSH had a 75 damage, which would turn out to be a 2 shot kill, and in multiplayer, it had a 38 damage, where it would have a 3 to 4 shot kill. The magazine size was 71 rounds, and the maximum ammunition you could have was 213 in single player, 284 in multiplayer. The weapon had a 896 rounds per minute, a high recoil, automatic fire mode, obviously, and it was used by the Red Army. This weapon can be used in the Soviet campaign, but normally in later levels because the mp40 was used in the earlier levels of this game in call of duty united offense which is the expansion pack to this original call of duty ppsh is no longer a two shot kill in the campaign it drops off and receives a bit of a nerf in the multiplayer of call of duty the ppsh is used by the soviets and it gives them a close range advantage in the first game where there is no damage drop off the gun can be used completely at medium close ranges killing two to four shots however in united offense where the spread has been increased and damage drop off is present in the game it takes three to seven shots to kill the recoil is also the second greatest in the submachine guns only to the mp40 and it has slight upward pull and random horizontal shaking Now moving on to Call of Duty 2, the PPSH was also included in this game. The damage was 80 in single player and 35 to 20 in multiplayer. We have some damage multipliers here. I'm not going to read all the single player ones, but I will read over the multiplayer. The head is 3, neck is 1.5, torso and limbs is 1. It holds 71 rounds per magazine and the maximum ammunition in single player is 355, multiplayer is 213. It fires at a 896 rounds per minute. Range is 15 meters to 70 meters in single player and 25 meters to 50 meters in multiplayer player. Range is basically telling you the drop off points and where the range starts to fall off on the gun. The recoil in Call of Duty 2 is much more strong than it was in the previous Call of Duty game and it is usually only effective from close to moderately long ranges. However, even though the recoil is stronger, it is more predictable in this game than the previous game. It is more of just upward recoil than just random shaking so you can predict and manage the recoil well even though it is stronger than it was in the last game. And the weapon also kills with three to five bullets from any range. Now in Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, the PPSH was not usable. However, since Captain Price did have a flashback mission to when he went to Chernobyl, we did get to see a statue holding up a PPSH. So all gillied up is the only time in the campaign when you would see the PPSH. However, you know, it's just a statue. You don't get to use the gun, but it does still include a glimpse and a look at the PPSH in the game itself. Also on the map block, which resembles the mission all 
Gilead up, it does have a statue in the middle of the map that was holding up the PPSH. So even though you were not able to use the PPSH in Call of Duty 4, it was still there. PPSH-41 was also included in Call of Duty World at War. The damage of this weapon was 100 to 60 in single player and 22 to 14 in multiplayer. The damage multipliers in multiplayer were head 1.4, chest 1, and limbs 1. Magazine size was 71 in single player and zombies and in multiplayer it was 35 but a 70 for the round drum in multiplayer. Maximum ammunition was 210 rounds in multiplayer and the reload time was 2.3 seconds mid magazine and 2.8 seconds when out and with the round drum it was 2.5 seconds mid magazine and 4 4.1 seconds when you're out of ammo. The rate of fire was an outstanding 1,250 rounds per minute and the range was 800 to 1,500 in single player and 750 to 1,000 in multiplayer. The weapon had low recoil, small bullet penetration, and automatic fire mode and it was used by the Red Army. In the campaign, the PPSH appears in the Soviet campaign of Call of Duty World at War. In the beginning levels, the PPSH is very uncommon, but once you get to higher levels, the PPSH PPSH becomes the weapon of choice and used more often. This is Reznov's weapon of choice in World at War, and it can be found with a round drum. In multiplayer, the PPSH is unlocked at level 53 and it has an extremely low damage per bullet. At any range before 19 meters, the PPSH will deal a mere 22 damage, warranting 5 shots to kill or 4 shots if 2 bullets are headshots. And once you reach 25 meters, the damage will go down to 14, warranting an extreme 8 shots to kill or 7 shots if one of the 7 bullets is a headshot. This low damage is basically forcing you to use stopping power. Even though it has very poor damage, it does have the strongest rate of fire of all weapons in Call of Duty World at War, achieving an astounding 1,250 rounds per minute. This makes the user extremely deadly in close quarters combat. The PPSH also has amazing accuracy traits. For example, the iron sights are good and clear, and the recoil is kind of like all directional, making overall recoil rather low, but it's unpredictable and hard to compensate. The handling traits of the PPSH are also positive. The hip fire cone is small, the aim down sight speed is quick, and the player will move at default movement speed with the weapon in hand. Only two attachments that you can use on the PPSH is the round drum and the aperture sight. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I, I have no clue. To conclude it all, the PPSH has a weak damage, but the unreal rate of fire makes this gun what it is. The weapon is also available on zombies on Doris and Verruckt, and the Pack-a-Punch version is called the Reaper. Black Ops 1, the PPSH appears in the mission Project Nova. It is being used by Reznov, Dmitry, and other Soviet soldiers. The PPSH in Black Ops 1 uses recycled animations from World at War. It also has very similar characteristics, but the graphics have been approved on from World at War. And unlike other single player modes, the PPSH has a 35 round box magazine, similar to the version first unlocked in World at War multiplayer. There are no stats found for this weapon, and that is because it is only seen in this one mission in Black Ops 1. The PPSH-41 finally made its return to Call of Duty in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. On July 12, 2016, brand new zombies map released by the name of Gorod Krovi. On this map, you could attain the PPSH-41. It also later came in Verruckt and Shino Numa when it was remastered and brought into the game as DLC. Then on February 7, 2017, it made its return to multiplayer in Call of Duty as being introduced to the black market. So this was a DLC weapon that you could get out of supply drops in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. The damage in multiplayer is 30 to 16 with a 1.1 head damage multiplier. The starting ammunition is 35 plus 105 and the magazine is 35 rounds, 71 with extended mags. 
The maximum ammunition you can have in multiplayer is 35 plus 280. The reload time with a standard magazine is 2 seconds when loaded, 2.6 seconds when empty, and with an extended mag, 2.8 when loaded, and 3.64 when empty. The rate of fire is an 895 rounds per minute, and the range is 400 to 1,500. It has a low recoil and low bullet penetration. Also, it has an automatic fire mode, and it's used by the Origins crew in Zombies. Now we are on to the present Call of Duty as of this commentary and that is the Call of Duty World War 2. Unfortunately we are not yet provided with stats like rounds per minute and damage multipliers and things like that so I can't tell you all of that information but I will give a basic rundown and go as in depth as I can with the information that I have. So the magazine size is 35 rounds and 52 with extended mags so it used to be 71 now it is 52. The starting ammunition is 35 plus 105 and the maximum ammunition is 35 plus 210 and the fire mode is obviously automatic. In the campaign it is not used by American soldiers obviously but you can pick it up off of dead German soldiers. In multiplayer up close the PPSH is devastating and boasts one of the fastest times to kills of any automatic weapon in the game. Although the RPM is significantly lower than in previous games the fire rate is still higher than every other SMG in Call of duty world war 2 now it is a consistent three hit kill at point blank and it matches all the other smgs in that statistic because of its high power and high rpm the ppsh is a force to be reckoned with at close range even at medium range it still continues to perform well with its great clean iron sights and the muzzle flash not hindering any accuracy and the recoil is managed just like in call of duty 2 it goes straight up and you can manage it very well and predict where the recoil will go. If you just have the right attachments on the weapon, it will perform well at medium range. The PPSH is available from level 1 with the use of an unlocked token, so that makes it commonly used within online games and overall, the PPSH is very effective from close range and medium range it can do well just have the right attachments on the weapon. The PPSH is also included in Nazi zombies of Call of Duty World War 2. The PPSH can be bought from from the weapon lockers or from the mystery box. In addition to the regular PPSH, a special variant called the Classic can be unlocked via an in-game easter egg. This Classic version features extended mags with a capacity of 70 rounds as well as more reserve ammo and a higher rate of fire and it can be acquired from the mystery box after the player has dropped jolts into four small bowls scattered around the that map. That has been all for the evolution of the PPSH in Call of Duty history. If you guys did enjoy be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Tell me again what you would like to see another evolution video on. Also I'd like to give a big thanks to USK Trills for the gameplay you're seeing right here and also USK Trial for the Black Ops 3 gameplay. If you would like to check out their channel or my channel the links will be down down below in the description so feel free if you choose to but that's all for today's video i'll see y'all next one i'm out peace